Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Introduction to Consumer Psychology. At the end of the class, I'll hand out the course syllabus and go through the assignments that you'll be expected to do and how much they're worth. But for now, I'd like to immediately start our first topic. I hope you're ready to take notes. Okay. On this first day, I'm going to give you an overview of an answer to the basic question of consumer psychology. Why do people choose to buy one product and not another? I'm going to answer this question by talking about four general factors. But keep in mind that not every one of these factors might play a large role for any one purchase. Most businesses would uh, love it if all buyers thought about their purchasing decisions according to an easy to describe process. But it just isn't so. As you'll see, most of us buy things for reasons that we would have trouble explaining if we thought about them. However, consumer education can shine a light on the hidden reasons for buying products. And it's a point that I'll return to again and again in this course. In fact, uh, one of the goals of this course is to educate you as consumers so that you better understand your shopping patterns and can adjust them if you so desire. By the way, uh, during this lecture I'll be giving you some key definitions for the course so you'd be wise to note them down and review them. Hmm? You'll definitely be tested on them at some point.